What's up everyone, my name is Kenzo and after a long hiatus, we are back on this channel and we are here to give you some juicy tactics and some up-to-date information on how to grow your Instagram in 2019. Now today, we are tackling what Instagram is doing with all these disappearing likes what that means for us as users, the real reason Instagram is doing it, and what that means for the future of this platform. So let's get into it. Back in May of 2019, Instagram made a bold and somewhat surprising move to remove like displays on all accounts in Canada. We are basically all left in our igloos drinking maple syrup, being like, what's that all about, eh? <laughs> for many, all that hard work, engagement, and credibility disappeared overnight. Now fast forward to July where they have now extended the ending light -like crusade to six additional countries including Australia, Japan, Brazil, Ireland, New Zealand and Italy. It seems as though they may go even further eventually making its way over to the USA. So why did Instagram do this? According to their spokesperson, we agree that this test will remove the pressure of how many likes a post will receive so you can focus on the things that you love. The goal she adds is that users feel less judged and to see whether this change can help people focus less on likes and more on telling their story. Now, before we start forming a mob to burn the house down, let's get a little bit of context here. Both Instagram and Facebook have been under a lot of flack as of late as millions of people worldwide have voiced their concerns for the negative effects of social media. It seems we have reached the point where we must ask the bigger, more important questions like how is social media affecting our youth health as well as the general population's overall happiness? Followers, likes and views have become the currency of the world and in essence is one big popularity contest. For those who haven't amassed an audience have been left feeling insignificant, unworthy and in some cases even been bullied and in many cases these effects have left them with depression. How did we let an application we downloaded for free on the phones that we only spent a few hundred dollars on dictate our overall self-worth? On the other extreme, people have gone to great lengths to get extra likes, oftentimes at the expense of innocent strangers, spouses, or friends in the form of pranks. In many situations, people are risking their lives doing cringeworthy shit and over-sexualizing themselves for attention likes, often with the do it for the gram mentality. Will the removal of likes be a step forward in the direction of virtual social equality? Based on algorithms, won't people with high likes be seated higher anyways and still drown out everyone else's posts in the feeds? For every update, there are questions, and for each question sparks so many more. There's no doubt the current culture of the world craves instant gratification. So when Instagram decided to remove likes in seven countries, what was the effect? Being from Canada myself, I experienced this firsthand. Right off the bat, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of pissed. As a content creator and someone who relies on my engagement for possibilities to make things like brand deals, attract business opportunities, and make money, this was quite worrisome. Likes also give a metric of how well your content performs. So for me, if something flops, you know, I don't cry or get depressed or delete anything, but it does give some valuable intel on how I can do better and what type of content I should focus on. The good news is that you can still see your own likes. You just have to click on the bold lettering and it will display. So not a huge loss here, but one extra touch point, which is arguably a hassle. One other area this really affected us is we own a couple of pretty large pages and do a ton of collaborations with other pages and influencers. On a daily basis, we have to scroll through multiple posts to assess the quality of these pages. It makes it a lot harder to determine that quality if you can't see their engagement. So this has definitely been a hindrance. For brands and businesses trying to capitalize off of influencer marketing, this is where things can get really tricky. You're about to invest money in people based on their reach and now it's a total guessing game. Maybe you've purchased ads off pages or actively doing promotions. It can be tricky to see how your ad is performing and what kind of engagement your post is getting. Luckily, there is a solution and there's a way around this. You can still see likes if you go view a page on the desktop. So go to your computer rather than looking at it through your phone and all these likes and metrics will still show up. In the past, influencers would often buy likes to fake engagement. So maybe this is a step in the right direction to create more authentic metrics and give businesses a better chance to not get swayed by inauthentic pages or influencers. A good solution for this is there are sites out there like Ninjalytics, Hype Auditor, or Social Tools to name a few, where you can still get analytics to help audit the accounts you're working with. 
If you are a brand or business needing the knowledge of how to target quality accounts and get the most out of influencer marketing, or you are an influencer creator who wants to grow and make money and learn how to get connected with the brands and tap into the influencer economy, click the link below. We got plenty of information that will help you guys out. Now, one other speculation is that this is a monetization move for the platform. As we've seen with recent updates like the creator profile and shop functions, Instagram has been making big moves to increase their money flow on the platform. For those who rely on likes for business, there could be an option down the road where if you want your likes displayed, you will have to pay. As we've seen previously on Facebook, you may have to start paying the platform for ads to get the reach you once got for free. People have prospered and made a ton of money off the platform and have never had to pay a cent. It could finally be time to pay the hand that feeds you. Now, I think this is also a good time to reflect and look at what we use Instagram for and how much we rely on this platform. For all the businesses, brands, creators, models, and anyone else in between, this could be the wake up call for us to pivot and start branching out. Maybe it's a good time to diversify if we haven't already. If you have put all your eggs in the Instagram basket, I would start thinking of ways where you can sustain and prosper without solely relying on one platform. Going back to the official reason Instagram claims to be removing likes, some people say this is BS and is just a money move, while others say that this is another step in the direction to wean out inauthenticity. The most notable being the most recent algorithm update, highlighting six factors, the three main ones being interest, recency, relationship, and the additional three were on frequency, following, and usage. There was a whole live stream Instagram put out highlighting how you can maximize off the new algorithm. Based on our years of experience growing and managing accounts, we've realized change is inevitable and there's always ways to prosper. Instagram says it wants people to focus more on original quality content, telling stories and true connections. So this is the direction you should focus on. Personally, I have found that when you don't see likes, you tend to focus more on the content and don't really let any like biases sway your decisions. This, after all, was one of the goals of this rollout. Looking at comments from around the world, overall there seems to be a positive response. In many situations, people have asked, when will you do this in my country? So let me ask you, would you care if your likes were removed? Do you think this is a positive move for Instagram and the world, or will this be one step closer in opening up the door for a new app on the block to take over and dethrone the most popular social app in the world? Leave us a comment and tell us what you think and leave us a thumbs up because as of now, YouTube still displays that. Subscribe if you're not already and join the notification squad. And until next time, peace. If you're a brand, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You want me to? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay.